What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to Fallen Tide TV. As always, my name's Nate. On today's episode, I am on another duck hunt. I'm on a solo hunt today. Uh, paddled into this spot over here. It's a, it's a limited access area. It's an area that I've uh, that I hunted years ago. I haven't hunted this place in a long time. Um, I do know that people have been having success in the area the last couple of seasons. Uh, for a while there, there was like a big lull. They really didn't have a whole lot of ducks out here. I think most of that was because of uh, you know the effects of hurricanes down here. I know y'all can't see right now, but I'm hunting in, in, a, in a little impoundment. Um, so it's levied off all the way around it. Uh, it's actually hard bottom in here. And, it, and I thought the hard bottom would be gone now. I kind of figured the bottom would have fell out of this place, but it's actually gotten harder over the years, which is pretty cool. Uh, so I'm able to get up and walk around out here. It's not something I'm really used to being able to do. So yeah, guys, I'm about to place these decoys. One thing I wanted to show y'all about these decoys is the rigs that I got on these right here. These are made by my good buddy, Damon A Bear with A Bear's custom decoy rigs. The best in the business, you guys. Absolute, most high quality that you can get. These things are absolutely tangle free, especially his uh, his plastic cords. Um, I call them plastic. They may actually not be plastic, so don't quote me on that. But uh, these right here are the, the stainless ones. But the, the plastic ones we did a demonstration with on, on a video. And uh, man, I, I couldn't get them to tangle, guys. So high quality stuff here i mean in my opinion best in the business heavy duty um, these things are going to last me a really really long time i mean we put them through a stress test while i was over there and, and i couldn't break them so let me tell you something guys if i can't break something it's pretty dang strong so y'all support local businesses uh y'all support mr damon he's a great guy and he deserves all the respect and all of the success that his uh his company's had so far so with that being said guys we about to get into it. I'm going to get these decoys thrown out and I'll show you all the setup once the sun comes up. All set up. We got a couple minutes till shooting light here. I bought me a new little like wind sock to put on this GoPro. So hopefully it's helping a little bit with the wind. You know, like the wind noise. I know a couple of people had mentioned that my, my wind noise was getting a little bit out of hand. So we'll see. Seems like it's a slow start to the morning, y'all. Uh, I'm hearing some shots, but I ain't seen no ducks yet. They may not be using this spot anymore. I don't know. That's a lot of pelicans. There we go. Where y'all going? That's not ducks over there, dude. That's sticks. That's a. Man. I thought that was gonna wrap right around, but. That's the second pair of, of ducks that went landed by that. That's so stupid. <laughs> All right, y'all. It's 10 o'clock. I seen a handful of ducks. That's it. I'm gonna start picking up my stuff. Heading back. I'm gonna keep my gun loaded while I'm paddling out of here. Uh, and if I see something, if I see a Nutra, if I see a, a duck, whatever, I'm gonna shoot it. I think I could put a stalk on a couple of these, these dogrees. I think I can. I'm gonna bring some decoys too, just in case. I might go set up on one of these little points right here. We got a bunch of them buzzing around. You can only shoot two of them, so. It might make this little trip at least worth coming out here. Shoot a couple of birds, so. Let's see what happens. This might get interesting, y'all. Let's see if I can get close enough to these things. And I'm get up and fly away. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go 
jump on this point. Well, that's a that's a big old flock of canvas bags right there. Interesting. Interesting. Didn't know they had those here. Throw some decoys out here. See what happens. I mean, this dude right here is on a suicide mission right here. Man, they are just piling back in this pocket right here like something serious. The problem is, is they're all probably going to go land with the with the live ducks. What is this guy doing? Man, they are just piling in that this this whole area right here. I'm just gonna leave them little few little decoys out and I'm just gonna jump right there in that tall stuff right there. I'm just gonna kneel down. Let's see if anything comes in. If it does, great. If it don't, oh well, it took no effort. Hey, this dude here. Got him. Well, all I need is one more. <laughs> Awkward shot. Made it work. <laughs> Okay, you will come back and put a couple more shells in this gun. Well, one down. <laughs> Beautiful, beautiful specimen of a bluebill, or like we like to call them, doe grease. It's been a rough day. Feels good to fold up a duck. All right, let's go pull up over here. They're willing to mess up like that. Be in good shape. I'm just gonna pull up right here. Divers ain't the smartest, so. Throw a couple of these out a little closer. Maybe I can get them to wrap in right there. What's so cool about it is my truck is literally right there. This ain't exactly hunting. This is just turning a bad situation into a a just uh which makes it palatable. Fun though. Diver hunting. I've missed diver hunting. Easy, stress-free. I like it. As long as they cooperate, it'll be fun. The one right there. Probably gonna go with them live ducks, but I'm gonna go right. Here we go right here.
took three, but I got him. The heck of another one right here. Gonna come right in. <laughs> well, it's probably all, probably all doe grease right here. The only thing I saw was that one flock of cans, so. It's like 12 o'clock noon, y'all, so. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up that duck and wrap up the hunt right there, y'all. It was an absolute grind today. I mean, <laughs> that was quite interesting, to say the least. But we got a lemon on, a lemon on dogri. I'll take it. It beats uh, going home with nothing. <laughs> oh, he's gonna come right in. That's awesome. Don't want them doing it dirty right here. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> Landing right there. Wow. Yes, indeed. All right, I'm gonna go pick up this uh, this other bird and get on out of here. Another little drake. This one not quite as pretty, but respectable in his own right. Let's go get these decoys picked up. Should have been hunting divers today from the jump. Definitely should have been hunting divers today. I should have come out here and set up out in this this bay here and threw out all my all my decoys and, and just hunted divers. Now look, I still might have only killed two ducks, but y'all would have got to see a lot more action. I don't have my A bears rigs on these. Well, I wish I did though. Because wrapping these things up in this wind ain't no fun. I'm gonna have to get some super long A Bears custom rigs for these. Had to get some like 10 footers. Because uh, sometimes I'm hunting deep water. This is shallow, but sometimes I'm hunting deep water for divers. I tell y'all what I did today. I made hunting look really hard. That's what I did today. I went out, put in all that effort to go set up on a place over there and man, I pull up right here and there's a pile of dogries sitting right here and 150 yard paddle to this bank right here and got two ducks. Did all of that work trying to get on birds and I got a big fat zero I put in less effort and got two all I did was make duck hunting look hard today when in reality if you don't sometimes you got to live within your, your your reality and the reality of it is is that this area only has dogries and a few other birds sprinkled in. But for the most part, your primary bird is your dogree. Why am I out there trying to shoot gadwall when I ain't seen the first gadwall all day? It's like, I need to hunt the ducks that are here. Uh, sometimes, sometimes we, uh, we outdo ourselves. I mean, there you go, right there, prime example. I mean, dogrees for days. I was about to go home with nothing and y'all weren't going to see any of this. Typically I don't put out my videos where I just straight up zero, just scratch, you know, but instead y'all get to see all of this and my crazy shenanigans because I decided to take 20 minutes and make a little boat paddle over here. 
I know it ain't nothing to write home about. I know this hunt wasn't, you know, one of the, the better hunts of the year, but that was fun. I got to shoot a couple of shots, bringing home a couple of birds, and you guys get to share, you guys get to share the experience with me. So that's what makes it even better. All right, y'all, y'all can get a look at the ducks here. I'll take it. All right, y'all, I know that wasn't the most action-packed video of all time, but uh, I mean, that's the reality of duck hunting. You know what I mean? And one, one of the things whenever I started this channel, I always said was I was going to keep it real. And that's about as real as it gets. I mean, sometimes it's just not my day. You know what I mean? Y'all know. I'm sure y'all can relate to that. Sometimes it's just not your day. Today was certainly not my day, but I felt I made the most of it. I did my best, you know. Um, I like these solo hunts, and I and I had a good time today, you know, getting out here, being on the water, peace and quiet, all by myself. Um, I like it. I do enjoy this. So for me, I had a good time. So to me, today was a success. Um, I put in a lot of work today. I mean, the amount of work that I put in for two ducks, that's got to be worth at least a like, you guys. So please leave this video a like. If you're not already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. I really appreciate that. And I'll see y'all next time on Fallen Tide TV.